hello everyone and welcome back to my channel yes it's Ophelia I know I said I was gonna make videos every single day um, and I was planning on making videos every single day like I have a lot of like ideas of videos and stuff like that that I want to share with you but um, it's been so busy lately that I haven't been able to um, make a lot of videos and stuff like that first um, this video is gonna be more about like my weight loss goals and my weight loss journey um, that I've been trying to do and stuff like that my face is a little bit swollen I don't know if you guys can tell but um, I did get my wisdom teeth removed um, and I don't know I'm still in pain to be honest it was I got them done on Wednesday and Thursday was horrible like I was in so much pain and I'm I was miserable today they're not so bad uh, but I do feel like my face is swollen anyways um, so basically what I wanted to share with you guys is that I'm I went back to work and I will be working and trying to make YouTube videos as well because I love making videos like I said earlier um, in some of my videos I hope you guys like the last one I know it's something different but um, I don't know I just kind of made it also for my brother he really likes creepy stuff like that and I am into a lot of creepy stuff as well anyways um so right after I was six weeks postpartum I started my weight loss journey um, but I was still bleeding a lot and I know this is like F uh, TMI too much info but um I was like fuck it like the doctor said I could go back to do exercise or whatever but then um, I started feeling a lot of pain and I started feeling like if I was pregnant again it was just too much so I went to a midwife uh, that came from Mexico and I don't know um, she kind of readjusted my body and stuff like that and she told me that I had to take a month of, well she said two months of like resting like not really doing anything and stuff like that um, which I have been doing like I don't carry anything heavy and stuff like that not even if like for example with my baby I do carry her car seat and in her but uh, the first few weeks I wasn't carrying her with the car seat my husband was and my sister-in-law was um, so and basically like I'm just taking it slow for now so I stopped but I just wanted to tell you guys that I lost how many how much was it so I started at 245 and then I ended at 230 so I lost 15 pounds overall um, when I was doing the exercises so what I would do like my regular like daily routine or whatever um, bef I can't I can't work out like this is something that I do this is like something that works for me because everyone's different so you guys might have other opinions but um so what I do I cannot eat anything if I'm gonna work out so I have to work out first or else I'm gonna throw up and bad things are gonna happen even if I like eat a light snack sorry I got cold even if I eat like a slight snack like I can't my stomach uh, I don't know um, anyway so what I would do was get up and then take my baby with me to the gym because I signed up at the YMCA and they do daycare for zero till seven years so zero months to seven years so basically no, I mean six weeks sorry sorry so sorry so it's six weeks till seven years um, and so they take care of her basically for two hours you have to pick her up um, in that time frame so I signed up I started going I would do two hours of just cardio because my main goal was to just do a month of cardio and then get started on doing some other workouts um, I would do an ab workout here and then uh, but that was just mostly in my house just like crunches and stuff like that um, just because I don't know I have a lot of saggy skin and you will see in the before and after pictures that I'm gonna post with this video um, but I do have a lot of saggy skin and it's because yeah I don't think I'm doing like any muscle work I'm just like trying to lose weight and you know go from there 
but anyways um so i would do just two hours of cardio i would go i would hop on 30 minutes in the uh treadmill 30 minutes on the elliptical 30 minutes on the bike and there was this other thing that i would hop on but i don't remember it's just like um I don't know it's not it's kind of like the elliptical but not really uh, but I would just do 30 minutes of that then I would come pick up my baby girl and head home um, and you know do my ab workout here but my ab workout usually consisted of crunches and sit-ups uh, which I think made things worse healthy wise like for me um, anyways when I when I started feeling like I couldn't do it anymore um, my mom suggested to go and check out that midwife because you know what i went to my regular doctor and i was telling her all my health concerns and she was like you know people with depression can um sometimes hallucinate things like health wise like she didn't believe me like i was having the symptoms so i was like you know fuck her like i'm just gonna go with um I'm just gonna go with that Mexican midwife or whatever and she she actually helped me a lot like I felt a lot better I stopped bleeding I stopped you know I'm um, having all this like kind of cramps colics things like that I stopped having all of that once I saw her and it just made things better and this is something that I, I've dealt with depression my whole life and that's why like before I was pregnant, I was still having depression and I didn't want to let them know that I was depressed just because they always, like, I feel like the doctors always judge you. I know they shouldn't judge you and I know that sucks that they do, but like, I mean, I told, I just recently told them about, you know, how depressed I was feeling and how sad, um, I am because I am not able to breastfeed fully and, uh, from my traumatic birth experience and all of those things just you know accumulating inside of me it's just like but anyways um they didn't that doctor just like oh because you're depressed you know you must be imagining things like she literally did not check me out like at all she did not even they what they did was take my blood pressure and just ask me how are you doing and that's fucking it like she didn't even you know touch my stomach or any of that um, I do have another baby well not another baby but he I had a baby four years ago he belongs to my parents and when I gave birth to him like right after they would like press on my stomach and stuff like that and they helped me way more than this midwife this midwife just like hi and bye that's basically it anyways um, if you do are dealing with uh, mental illness like depression and any of that um, just talk about it because it, it will help. I know you might feel like you're being judged, but you shouldn't because, I mean, mental health is just like, you know, another illness like diabetes and stuff like that. It's something you just have to deal with um, and something that I've dealt with my whole life. So it's fine. Like, I'll share it with you guys, with you guys um, in another video, like how hard it was for me to accept that I had depression and to realize that I had depression and like all the shit that I've been through with depression but right now I'm happy well at least try to be happy um I do get depressed when I'm here at the house I know I have a baby and stuff like that but I still get depressed and it's something that I, I am working on and I'm using my coping skills for and that's why I go to the gym because the gym helps me so much it gives me endorphins it gives me energy it's just for me the gym is is the best thing i know it doesn't look like i am a gym person but i actually enjoy going to the gym um anyways back to my story so basically i went to the gym for about two weeks approximately and that's how much i lost 15 pounds um for my diet wise what i was eating on a daily basis was my oatmeal in the morning with some I don't drink a lot of coffee I am more of a tea kind of person so I would drink tea or the breast uh, supplements the breast milk supplements the hot chocolate that's what I would eat and then on my um, I bought the pre-packaged oatmeal just like the insta basically you just have to warm up some hot water or milk I rather use milk um, and then um, it comes with kind of like apples and stuff like that. But what I did was add some apples and bananas and raisins. 
and it's hella good so that's basically what i have for breakfast for um lunch it's more like uh, i need to have some vegetables and like uh, chicken or some kind of protein with it um usually i have like chicken and well this is when when i was working out because right now my diet is horrible i mean i haven't eaten for like three days just because i am in so much pain like i've tried eating caldo and it was not not the best and i don't like mashed potatoes someone suggested i should eat them um yeah i don't know it's just been hard i mean today i hopefully i can eat more my husband said he was taking us to dinner so we'll see anyways so I used to eat like a salad and my salad consisted of uh, lettuce, tomato, uh, and lemon juice and uh, um, what's it called? Chicken breast. And the chicken breast, the way I prepared it was with like um, the spray cooking oil because that's the healthiest. And I would get the organic um, breast just because the other one has hormones and stuff like that that we don't need. That's just extra. Um, and then for dinner, I would have basically almost the same thing. I did eat like a lot of snacks in between and my snacks consisted of like baby carrots and apple, cucumber, um, things like that. But I'll show you like my meal prep in another video. This is just like basically what I did with my workouts. Um, and so like I said, I went every day for two weeks two times uh two hours a day and i lost 15 pounds i will show you the before and after pictures and kind of like video short videos that i took like right after my workouts for me it's more like uh calorie wise like how many calories i burn and stuff like that um so yeah i also have this uh app on my phone it's called the, my diet coach but i i suggest you get the um under armor um, app that one's way better. I used to have it, but I was just too lazy to download it I'm using the diet coach just to track because it has like a meal journal like just to track what I'm eating in a day and like how many snacks how many drinks of water um, I'm also putting my exercises in there and it's just something fun to keep if you're like me that likes to keep track of everything um i haven't used it in a while just because i'm not exercising i'm not dieting or whatever um but yeah so that's what i would do um right now i think i'm gaining weight i honestly haven't weighed myself i've just been taking it slow hopefully i'm not gonna rest for the whole two months just because i feel way better now but i am gonna rest for a month so today has been two weeks um so it would be two more weeks and then i'll be good to go you know um you know making those gains and stuff like that but we'll see i have a lot of people who support me in my weight loss journey and i know that i can do it and i hope you guys can you know support me and join me or you know do whatever um but yeah all right everyone that is all that i have for you today i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe down below um i will try to upload more often um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching